So here talk through this hexagonal cave by Chandra Shud Nanduri called Central Diamond for some of these central clues. Certainly we've got this too. It's going to have some constraints around it and it's probably helpful for these twos to mark these X's in right at the start. So we can only take a single cell by it, but what that will mean is in some straight stretches, like this eight can take one cell but not two cells in this direction because it would run into the, how the two is seeing cells. Certainly this eight can't go too far in these directions. I'm going to start though outside the central diamond with this three clue which is fully specified at the start with the four six that's being seen. This four has to see one more cell to make it work. The six is now seeing six cells. The seven is seeing four cells at the moment, so five, six, seven is required. And then this eight is currently seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, could be this for eight. Notice this is now three pointing towards a four, but with two more cells that wouldn't work. So this has to take these to, to go. This seven sees four cells. It can see five, but can't go to six because of the X's we've marked in. So this would be five, six, seven. And it actually completes the four in marking that in and completes the seven in marking that in and gives us a pretty narrow space around these clues. This four is currently seeing three cells. So it would be one more cell in these to uh, get up to four. So we know it's one of these two. And so the shadings will work around these X clues. That's going to give us some wisdom around the seven. Notice the seven can't take two cells this direction and actually can't take both of these cells together. So I guess the maximum going up would be one, two, three, not using the cell, four, five, six, seven, and that's required. There's no other way to get seven cells there. So this is marked off. This is marked in for the four. We've got to put these in for the shading groups to work. The three needs this cell, but not this cell. This eight is currently seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that looks fine. The six is seeing six clues directly right now. This five is seeing three, four, five. The six is now seeing six exactly. The seven is seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This eight is seeing one, two, three, four, five, potentially six, seven, eight, but marking this off, uh, too, too many clues in a row for that too. We'll see, we have to come over and take to this. Now let's just sort of start, I guess, on the left side, which we haven't looked at yet, and some other uh, X's we can mark in to the space. This six can see one cell, but not two cells to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This eight can see one, two, three, four, potentially five, six, seven, always has to see this eight. This eight can see one of these, one of these, that'd be like three, four, five, six, seven, eight coming down. This nine is going to be pretty forcing, but let's look at what some of what the cells we've marked in do. This marks off this cell for the two. This marks off this cell for the two because of the groups around it. That puts this in, marks this off, puts this in, marks this off. Now the six has to see this cell for that value. This eight is seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So can't see this, but must see this for eight. This eight is seeing one, two, three, four, potentially five, six, seven, eight, all of those required. You'll see the nine now has a valid count too, but we've got an interior part that has to be getting to an edge of the grid. So we shade in the cell and we finish the puzzle. So pretty good hexagonal cave workout. If you weren't familiar with marking some of these X edges and then putting them into their counts, both around the seven and around the seven, uh, particularly as a result of this four clue, there are some very limited counts going on there. And that was one of the key steps to really work through the middle of the puzzle. And then balancing the high counts over here alongside these two twos is how to get the left side of the puzzle finished to complete it out. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you again soon.